For a thousand causes, I would prolong a while the traitor's life. What would your grace have done unto him now? Brave warriors, Clifford and Northumberland. Come make him stand upon this mole hill here. That wrought at mountains with outstretched arms, yet parted but the shadow with his hand. What? Was it you that would be England's king? Was you that reveled in our parliament and made a preachment of your high descent? Where are your meso sons to back you now? The wanton Edward and the lusty George. <laughs> And where's that valiant crookback prodigy, Dicky, your boy, that with his grumbling voice was wont to cheer his dad in mutinies? Or oh, with the rest, where is your darling Rutland? Look, York. I stained this napkin with the blood that valiant Clifford, with his rapier's point, made issue from the bosom of the boy. And if thine eyes can water for his death, I give thee this to dry thy cheeks with all. Alas, poor York, but that I hate thee deadly, I would lament thy miserable state. I prithee grieve to make me merry, York. Stamp, rave and fret, for thou may sing and dance. Hmm? Thou wouldst be feed, I see, to make me sport. York cannot speak unless he wear a crown. A crown for York. And lords, bow low to him. Hold you his hands whilst I do set it on. Aye. Marry, sir. Now look see like a king. Aye. This is he that took King Henry's chair. And this is he was his appointed heir. But how is it that great Plantagenet is crowned so soon and broke his solemn oath? As I bethink me, you should not be king till our King Henry had shook hands with death. And will you pale your head in Henry's glory and rob his temples of the diadem? Now, in his life, against your holy oath? Oh, tis a fault. Too, too unpardonable. Off with the crown, and with the crown his head, and whilst we breathe, take time to do him dead. That is my office, for my father's sake. Say, let's hear the orisons he makes. 